Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mads and today we have my favorite video of the month and I always get so excited to film this video and that is my TBR cards. Choose what I'm going to read for the month. For those of you that don't know or are new here, I make my own TBR cards and they're so fun. They're so cute. I literally look forward to making this video every single month because it is so incredibly fun. Now for this month I already have three books selected. Usually I pick out eight books with the TBR card. Two books are for book club and one book is to just finish a YouTube video that I'm filming for you guys, a reading vlog. And I will tell you guys those books at the end. And at first I was like, oh I kind of don't really want to like do this if I'm only picking like four to five cards because I love having a big TBR. But then I was like, you know what? I've been in a mood reading mood for a really long time recently and I was like let's just make a huge TBR. Let's just make an unrealistically extremely high TBR. Am I setting myself up to fail? Yes. Do I care? No. I have also gone back to work so I know that I won't be reading as much. Like I really don't know why I'm doing this myself but I love picking books that match these TBR cards so I'm gonna do it. And for those of you that don't know I am writing book three in the Air Breaking Fate series. And if you guys don't know what that is, really quickly, hi, my name's Mads Rafferty, and I'm an author of these two beautiful books, which is a fae romancy. You can read both of these books and this entire series on Kindle Unlimited. You can snag a beautiful copy from Amazon. Okay, let's select these cards. I'm, I'm so excited. You know what? I'm just going to see how many fall out. Okay, there's two. This is my new way. That's three. You used to shuffle. Now you just go like this. There's five. Okay, now we will shuffle. You have seven, eight, let's do one more. I made this vampire card literally just in the hopes of it selecting Twilight and it obviously did because I'm in the middle of reading Twilight but that's okay because that's actually the last book that I need that's one of the books that I was talking about that I need to read for a YouTube video so we will keep that in there but I get to select one more there we go it just fell out let's go and see what we've got to work with yay let's select the card okay so I'm going to start off with the easiest one Twilight. Look at how cute Twilight raised me. So for this one, we've got Breaking Dawn, which is the last book in the Twilight series. As I said, I'm currently filming a reading vlog of reading Twilight series for the first time, and this is what I gotta read next month. Then next up, we have Lived on Shelf for over 365 days. When I think of this card, I instantly think of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I've actually had this on my shelf for two years. I know, a long time. Either that or buy a thread by Lucy Score. The only reason why I'm not really leaning towards this is because it's 500 pages and this just feels like a lot. I'm already reading Breaking Dawn, which is 800 pages this month. So I just kind of want to keep, if I can keep the books that I have in this TBR low in the page count area, then maybe I actually can get to all of them. I feel like this is quite a big book though. So in this size, it is 400 pages. This is like the first edition print. Then I have a special edition version which it was just so pretty like I had to get it in the normal standard size 500 see both of 500 we could do 99% mine by Sally Thorne I've actually had this on my TBR for so long it's 330 pages and it's kind of like bumped up on my list and my TBR in my head because I just watched Destiny's video where she was like T ranking all the five star books she's read and she rated this one five stars and I was like you know what if Destiny rates this five stars because I loved Sally Thorne the hating game like loved it I know that some people hate it but I loved it love the movie too. I feel like I will love it but another thing that I want to keep in mind is that I want to try and read a lot of fantasy because now that I'm going and reading book three of Air of Broken Fate series I need to get into the mental headspace of fantasy so I'm gonna just put these two options down and then I'll select at the end. Then we've got 300 pages which I think that this is a good one but this is actually hard. Surprisingly it is hard. Instantly I think of powerful but I think that this might be a little bit under 300. Yeah it's 250. As an option we do have sand sequence and silicon by Pia Mia. Um, this comes to 290. 284 sorry so this is like kind of perfect ish. We're getting there but again I want to try and lean towards fantasy. Option one. <laughs> Do you know how many times I put this on my TBR and I haven't read it? Do y'all know how many times? I think that this is perfect. I think this is perfect. It is a little bit over 300 pages, but I feel like this is perfect to get me into the romanticy headspace. Also, I just want to say, Pia Mia sent me this book. Thank you. I wish that there was more standalone fantasy books because I really don't want to start too many series. So the other book that I found is How to Survive Your Murder. I've been meaning to read this for a really long time. Again, this is thriller. I don't know if I'm going to pick it. I think I'm just going to put multiple options and then at the end I will select. Then we have Grumpy Sunshine. Okay, we need a good Grumpy Sunshine for this one. 
So for Grumpy Sunshine, I have chosen the rule book. I think that this is going to be such a quick, easy, fluffy read. It's 340 pages. Ah, oh, this month. This month. The font. What the hell? The font is small. I love the cheat sheet. I keep seeing people being like, her books are so cheesy, but I love it. Is it bad that I didn't find it cheesy? What does that say about me? What type of romance do I like? I have a feeling that I will like this. Apparently, it's like enemies to lovers, grumpy sunshine. And the reason why I have to research is because I love going into books blind. Like, I can't really sit here and tell you what any of these books are about. Literally none of them. Because I love going in blind. I just try and find out the tropes. And then I base my decisions off of tropes and reviews. Next up we have Murder Mystery. I am hoping that this is a murder mystery. I want to read this this month so bad. A heart pounding gothic thriller from the masters of suspense. Let me just Google if it's a murder mystery. Because I don't want to read the blurb. I don't want to read the synopsis. I don't want to know, know anything. Okay, this is getting hard. What the fuck? I just tried to see if it's a murder mystery. I'm going to have to read the back. Because I think I just had something fucking spoiled. 20 minutes later. Oh, could have literally just read the first sentence and I just saw a question and it was like, who killed X? So obviously it is a murder mystery and obviously that didn't spoil it. I just know who dies. <gasps> this sounds so good. Oh my God, I'm glad I read the back. I'm gonna read this now. I'm gonna read this today. Everyone believes that Lenora Hope is a mass murderer. When the Hope family was massacred decades ago, she was the only one left alive that tragic night. Mute, paralyzed, and confined to a wheelchair, Lenora has never been able to tell her side of the story until her new living caregiver, Kit, brings her a typewriter. And with one working finger, Lenora begins to type, I want to tell you everything. Down. Instant reading it. Then we have a book of 400 pages. I just unknowingly selected the next card. So we're just going to do this one. Series I'm in the middle of. The second book of Defend the Dawn. Now, this is rookie. Now, this is risky. As I'm filming this now, I haven't read the first book. But I have to read the first book by because it's a book club pick. And I have to read it by the 2nd of June. So I know that I am going to go on to read the rest of the series. Hopefully, fingers crossed that I like it. So while I'm not technically right this second in the middle of the series, I will be. So we're putting it down. Back to 400 pages. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to do that last because the next three that we have is Small Town, Predictive Five Stars, and Highly Anticipated Read. Highly Anticipated Read and Predictive Five Stars, both Abby Jimenez books. I read Part of Your World and Yours Truly last month both infinity stars i have never ever not once two romance books written by the same author and both of them being infinity stars like i am shook i am shook usually there'll be like one infinity stars and like 4.5s 4.75s five stars both infinity stars part of your one is like my entire personality at this point i then went on to order abby jimenez merch it's a whole thing so these are my really highly anticipated reads so of course we have the new release which is just for the summer i think i'm going to absolutely love it then we have the first book in her other interconnected standalone series, and that is The Friend Zone. So, I mean, these are kind of the same to me for predicted five stars and highly anticipated read. These kind of just go like hand in hand. I just want to take a brief pause and talk about today's sponsor, which is me. Hi! I'm Dorothy, who wrote the Air Broken Fate series. Hi, I just want to mention that Air Broken Fate now has a beautiful, beautiful special edition. She sold out within the first 24 hours of her first print run. So Bookbox has decided to do a second print run. So head to bookbox.au and sign up for the waitlist because those who sign up to the waitlist get to purchase their special edition first they get first access so sign up to the special edition and the second print run is going to be on the 1st of june so mark it in your calendars for the us it is a day before so 30th 31st i will put it right here i will put it right there so make sure you guys snag a copy before it sells out again because i don't think we're going to be doing another print run and they're just going to be gone once they're gone they're gone okay then next we have small town and 400 pages this is it. We have the 400 pages card. Literal perfection. I have been meaning to read this book for so long. Literally so long. Light lark. And beautiful Alex sent me it. Oh! I only just realized that it's signed. <laughs> Thank you! I literally didn't even realize that it was signed. Oh my god. I was so excited because I got sent one with a page overlay and look how gorgeous it is. That's beautiful. And I love the cover of this. Like, I literally love it. Oh my god, even the naked. <sighs> 
gorgeous. Anyways, this is literally 400 pages. I think it's on the dot. 409. That is just, it, this is perfect. This is perfect. 400 pages and it's fantasy. It's exactly what I want. And I know that book three just got announced, but so far there's only two books out, so it doesn't feel like I'm starting like a huge series. Okay. And then we have Small Town. And for Small Town, I've got Done and Dusted, which I think is perfect. Yes, it's romance, but it's only 320 pages. The font is really big. I can fly through this. And I just finished the Chestnut Spring series, so I kind of just like, oh, nostalgia, you know? And everyone says that this does give very similar vibes, so I'm very excited because I miss my cowboys. I miss my cowboys. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm really excited about this selection. Let me go through and show you my final choices. So for the vampire card, we have Breaking Dawn. Lived on shelf for over 365 days. We have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. For 300 pages, we have Divine Rivals. About damn time. Like, pump the brakes though. Let's see if I actually read it this time because I put it on my TBR like three times and I don't read it. For Grumpy Sunshine, we have the rule book. For series I'm in the middle of, we have Defend the Dawn. For a murder mystery, we have The Only One Left. For Predicted Five Stars, we have Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. Highly anticipated read, we have The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. Small Town, we have Done and Dusted. And then last but certainly not least, we have 400 pages, Light Lock. We have five fantasy, four romance, and one thriller. Which I think is perfectly even out in my opinion. Then the other two books is one for book club, which I don't know. We haven't selected that yet for the month. And then I'm reading A Love Letter to Whiskey with my friends because everyone's been talking about it. I think it would just be a really funny book to like rant about with the book girlies and that's on kindle unlimited but that is it thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you guys really love it i love filming these monthly tbr videos and thank you so much for picking my june reads Mwah! see you next time